Hey guys, it's your boy Kerpers, and welcome to my review for episode 9 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Thank you. So, another rarity episode. How grand. And I'm gonna stop doing that now. But yeah, it was another rarity episode. Not gonna lie, I liked it more than last week's episode. Now, normally I don't like rarity episodes, but this one was really, really good. I have to, even, even for someone like me, who's not really a big fan of rarity's character, feel free, if you're a rarity lover, feel free to hit on me in the comments. Feel free. I won't care. I'm not going to change my opinion. I don't like rarity's character. You can't change that. But... This episode was really, really good, and, and it, like, one or two things I didn't like about the episode, but all in all, it was a fantastic episode, top notch. So the episode starts with, with the main six heading to Rarity's Boutique to... Because they don't want Rarity reading about reading the review of her new shop opening and that opened in Manhattan, hmm. which uh, off the bat made me think, wait, are they gonna be telling the story? E. So this is after it happened, and they're just gonna be telling, and it'll be like. Each of them have a different perspective. And it was kind of like that and kind of not like that. Basically, they all told the story together. And I love Rarity shouting at them. No spoilers! <laughs> and giving the fandom another new meme. Because why not? They don't have enough of those. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, 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 we you then go to ooh, ooh, Rarity and the main six each talking with a reporter who it was actually pointed out to me that he actually I didn't notice it at first I had to go back and look and then it clicked that it was a almost a pawnified version of J. Jonah Jameson, who, if you're not a comic book reader, is the mad it guy who owns the Daily Bugle or, or in the Spider-Man universe. You know, the guy who hates Spider-Man, who Peter Parker, who is Spider-Man, works for. And Peter's job is to take pictures of Spider-Man to give to Jameson, and Jameson then slams Spider-Man. It, it's really confusing if you don't read comic books, but if you don't, then don't worry about it. No one else does it there anymore. They just watch the movies. Anyway, this is not about that. This is about ponies. Because, of course it is. But, I, overall, so the main si starting with rarity, all will have a little conversation. Have a tell the events of the opening day to this report, and it seems at at times it cuts back and forth between them talking to the reporter and it actually showing us what they're talking about. Like, it shows the main six walking to the uh, shop, entering the shop, seeing that it's in desperate need of some cleaning, some soaring out, some just general uh, TLC, as it were. Not tables, ladders, and chairs, tender, love, and care. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not suggesting that they're going to have a TLC match. <laughs> 
No, that, that's not that's not what I'm suggesting. Although that one made the episode a lot more interesting. <laughs> the, the chick with the braces, I would love to see her go through a table. Well, to be honest. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, he, oh no. As his, his rarity is trying to sort everything out, her friends, the rest of the main six, are like, let you focus on setting up the uh, window, the uh, meh. The way the window mannequins things means that you know you see on in, in clothes shops you see mannequins where and sometimes they'll be wearing the clothes of the uh, of the shop. So as Rarity was doing that, the main six each took upon their themselves to do a job. Twy was uh, sorting out Rarity's delivery, which came. All mixed up, up, and she had to put Twilight in charge because his, you know, Coco Pinnell did return. Hmm? Hooray! Oh no, she's sick. So she goes home. That was that was disappointing. That was one of the things I didn't like about the episode is that they had her in it, only sent her home because she was sick. That's not what we wanted, Hasbro. We wanted her to be involved in the episode. It, and the fact that Rarity has gotten two episodes and she's gonna get another one at some later in the in the season and makes me think. Okay, she's not gonna get more than three, so we're probably not gonna go back to the boutique at least until season seven, which. And this is coming from a guy who doesn't even like Rarity's character. Sucks! Because... This episode made me appreciate the Rarity character a bit more. Yep. I'm not gonna start like. Or unless all our episodes continue are on this level, so we'll see. But, as they're, they're doing that... Uh, Applejack has to deal with the daughter of the guy who is renting Rarity the shop. He owns the building and he's renting it out to Rarity. He, and he kind of like, he's strong hoofed his way into convincing Rarity to hire his daughter who knows as much about fashion as someone like I would know about fashion. Suggesting that Rarity should, instead of selling clothes, which is what Rarity makes her living on, instead of doing that, she should sell her spoon clothes. Who's well, I agree with Applejack. Those would come in handy. That would really... That I can't imagine that would be comfortable. Cool. Cool. Like, having spoons on your clothing might be more practical. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a big fashion person. And you're a she. Um, she also suggested... It glow in the dark teeth for whatever reason because that would be such a stupid idea. I mean, can you imagine? You're lying in bed, sleeping away, he he say if you're a snorer. You're snoring away, he and when you open your mouth to snore, because you have to open your mouth to snore, although there are some people who who can snore with their mouth closed. But most people open their mouths to snore, or just maybe they sleep with their mouth open, or some way, e the your teeth would be glowing. The glow would wake you up, 
and you would get no sleep. How can she not see that that is a completely stupid idea? Right there and then, and was like, Ah, why is this a kid show? Oh, because any sane person would be like, That is stupid, and I should kick the shit out of you for even suggesting that. But, unfortunately, Applejack couldn't do that because, again, it's a kid show. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Fluttershite had to deal with some raccoons who were not happy when she asked them to leave. Eve, But they sorted that out. All, all, all she needed to do was change her tone instead of asking how Rarity would have done it if Fluttershy he sorted it in her own way in fact they all sorted it their own things in their own way Pinky dealt with uh, the, the uh, party that was happening upstairs There's, and Vinyl made another appearance and she was referenced by name again Th this is Two episodes this season. She wasn't even referenced by name in, in Slice of Life. I'm like, okay, is Vinyl going to be important later in the season? Because she's getting a lot of screen time. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. This is brilliant. <laughs> Who doesn't love Vinyl? Yeah, it's a bit weird. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to have some sort of payoff layer. Maybe she'll be important in whatever they're playing for the season finale. Probably something to do with changelings. Things again. Who knows, maybe, maybe Vine will do like her human counterpart and blow them all away with... He would hit our frickin' base cannon. Yes. Why not? <laughs> Fuck the power of love. Of all you need is base cannons. Shout out to anyone who gets that reference. Which, if you're an LLP watcher, it's probably all of you. Oh, so smooth. Anyway. He. Rainbow Dash hired some fashionable punk he's to help op op run the shop I'm assuming Coco Pinel is gonna still have a job up oh, because if she doesn't Remo you just lost some points because that's not cool people like Coco Pinel we don't even know who these ponies are we didn't even learn their names at least we know Coco's name. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah. Uh. Uh. Also, Twilight made a song about sweeping. And even though Rainbow and Applejack both said, pretty much said it was stupid, it then showed them singing along with her. So. Where is the sense, Hasbro? Where? Where is it? Can you point it out to me, please? Because it doesn't make any sense. <sighs> so, all in all, oh, oh, with everything in Sword, Rarity's Boutique and Review, everything went well, fantastic. It Like in the end, Rarity did learn about, about the um, little mishaps with the uh, on on the opening day, but you now she over she was able to overlook them because the the others sorted it out themselves. They didn't want to worry Rarity because obviously she had enough on her her, her mind with the opening of the shop and all that sort of stuff. 
So, yeah, solid episode. Solid episode. Def. E. And I don't say this about rarity episodes often, but it's definitely one I'm going to watch again. And probably I'm not alone there. So, yeah. In terms of a rating, this one is tough. Like I said, few nitpicks. Uh, I would have. Mm -hmm. Like, you could have removed the daughter of the uh, building owner and still had a relatively good conflict. Obviously, I mean, obviously, you'd have to have something for Applejack to do or just not have her there. And obviously, she needs to be there because, you know, she's there to support Rarity. Um, you know, you could have something else come up that Applejack could be uh, that would require Applejack's help. Um, and the fact that uh, Coco Pinal was not in the episode for a lengthy time also really hampered this episode. It's a tough one. I think well I think all things considered eight and a half out of ten. I think that's a fair rating. Eight and a half out of ten maybe I'm being generous, maybe I'm not. I don't normally rate Earthy episodes eight or anything near that high. Probably the only one I'd rate higher than five or even anywhere near five. Hmm. Anyway, eight and a half out of ten. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of episode nine. And then until next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.